Typically, we think of late December, we think of cold temperatures. That's what happened with the front that moved through overnight. Colder air has arrived, but as we look at some of the long range models the next six to 10 days, we're going to see a warming trend return to the area. Some of the warmest air will be in the central plains, but here at home when you get these reds and these oranges, this is indicating warmer air returning. And as we look at the seven day, you'll see that actually does pretty much pair up with what our extended outlook is showing. Now, right now it is cold. You've got that cold air behind the front that pushed through this morning. Single digits to the north. That mild air mass is southeast of us. And here at home, we've got those 40s and 50s out there, but it's rain free. The clouds continue to push out as well from power of five radars. As you see, 45 for Nashville, also in Columbia, 44 Murfreesboro, 43 in McMinnville and Cookville at 45 degrees as our sky continues to turn clear. By dinner time, we should be in the low 40s and upper 30s with a clear sky heading towards news time tonight and beyond. We'll see temperatures for the most part getting into the 20s and some low 30s. Clear conditions out there for you third shift workers, so make sure you bundle up. Also, as you head in for the morning commute on Tuesday, it's going to be a chilly start. Now through the day Tuesday, we start with sunshine. We're going to pause this at lunchtime. We'll see a partly cloudy to mostly sunny sky. Temperatures only in the 40s though. Northerly wind keeping things a bit chilly and clouds starting to filter in again as you get towards Tuesday afternoon as we get another weak disturbance to slide through. Nothing like what we saw this morning. In fact, models are backing off on the squeezing out any moisture. Maybe a sprinkle possible, but the real chance for rain comes later in the week. We take a look at exact track getting towards Thursday afternoon. That's when we start to see some greens returning here on exact track, bringing rain chances into your Friday morning as well. And even into the first half of the weekend, we're going to look at some chances of showers. And unfortunately, it does look like by late Friday into Saturday, we get the chance of a few rumbles of thunder possible in the forecast before all is said and done and things start to settle down. So tonight, quiet weather, 27 degrees, but we are in for weather whiplash over the next seven days. Let's look at the next three days first. 45 on Tuesday, a partly cloudy sky. We'll say as it starts sunny and then clouds increase through the day. 38 Tuesday night into Wednesday morning as those clouds continue to filter in. 50 Wednesday, I'll keep rain chances out altogether. Like I said, models are backing off on all that. 60, a slight chance of rain on Thursday, 70 on Friday, but yes, some rumbles of thunder possible with the rain. Rain into Saturday, temperatures around 62 on Saturday, and then falling again thanks to a cold front, and only into the upper 40s on Sunday, 50 and dry on Monday. So weather whiplash, weather roller coaster, whatever you want to call it, the next seven days, up and down we go, Vicky.